everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhan. So we're in the south again today. Our units are continuing to move forward, and the second lance of our static defense unit is pushing forward into a town, hoping to destroy any Merrick units there. Alright, so this is the first time you guys are really seeing this lance. So this is a blackout mission. Um, couldn't find a base defense, but blackout will do. Uh, so we're just going to push forward, and we'll just say, you know, the enemy is like, you know, hidden or trying to surprise us as we move into the into the uh, into the town here. So, the mechs in this lance are the Hollander, which is piloted by Metal Arc Lemon. He's a one of our veteran pilots. Then we've got Parrot piloting the old Clint, which we haven't used much of, but it's still running the LBX10 medium laser or medium X pulse, sorry, tag barrage. Um, we've got Drog, who's a new pilot, uh, newer pilot, uh, running a Shadowhawk that we were able to put together. It's got an Ultra 5, LRM-15 clan, an ER large clan laser, and some tandem rockets. And it's pretty pretty darn quick, so it's pretty much a scout unit. And then we put that we put together the, the Kegel Adder, which is the one that's got the uh, um, stealth unit in, in like basically built right into it. Um, so it's running a pair of medium heavy lasers, a uh, pair of uh, medium pulse lasers, and a small X pulse. So we just moved that up, and then as our vehicle, we're still looking for a second vehicle for this lance, but I moved the Chaparral into this lance, it's the uh, aero vehicle, only because this lance doesn't have a lot of mines, other than the Hollander, we're not really running a lot of mines in this lance, so we can fire this thing off um, a fair bit. And um, Hot Dog is actually not a bad pilot, um, we've had him for a little while now, so he's got a little bit of skill. Um, so he should do pretty pretty well. I've run this lance a couple times now just to kind of get the feel for them um, offline and to generate a few sea bills and, and they work pretty well. And there's some vehicles already. Yeah, so they got pre-units. It's actually Clan Wolf we're against here, so it should be a pretty good matchup. It's a one skull battle, uh, but because it's against the clan... Okay, Durga. Because it's against clans, it should be a good fight, I think. Yeah, you know who to worry about. Hope we don't lose this guy early. Confirmed. All right, buddy. Uh, what's this guy? Asher. No idea what it's got. So let's keep moving up here. Just walk it up. Get a better chance to hit. Hollander's not that bad. It's got the Kalayama AC5 with uh, incendiary, I think I got, no, oh, just incendiary ammo, um, and ER large laser. Whole lot of nothing. No love on that strike. So most of my units in this, in this are longer ranged units. I hear ya. But the pilots aren't like tremendously skilled, so at long range we're still gonna have difficulty. Um, you've got speed. Let's get you close to this guy and see if we can get a couple good shots on him. This thing heats up pretty well too, right? So I gotta be careful about that. Okay, that's pretty good. Take the shot on this guy. Yeah, see how quickly it'll heat up? Got it. Wow, that was terrible. Alright, soften him a little bit. Orders. Move order received. Get over here. We can pull this copter down, we can get him out of our backside before we start here. Um, Ultra, we'll go two shots, do the tandems off. I think that's pretty good. Wow. We're really having problems landing some shots today. Let's get closer. Got the LBX in this guy, see if we can land it in this, on the... Uh, Copter here. Can we, uh, did I bring a slug? No, it's just got the regular cluster rounds. Um, yeah. Okay, not too bad. At least the X pulse landed. It's panicking now. Oh, there's something else down there too. Lightning. ATMs looks like. Maybe. Good to go. Okay, do we push or do we? On 
On the move. Let's stay in a direct line of sight. Took a bunch of damage to the front. Yeah, see, this thing is not that heavily armored. It's enough for light engagements. As long as it's staying back, it's okay. So 8.8. .8. I think we've got 15 rounds in this thing. 5.1. Wait, do I have HE rounds? I got guided. I got five guided rounds. Actually, can I hit that copter? Yeah, no, I don't have. You can go flak. I guess we have to be direct line of sight for that, though. So let's just, uh... Let's just drop around on this guy. Engaging with target. Nice. I don't want to fire too many low percentage chance to hit, because, like I said, we've only got 15 rounds, so... I mean, it should last at the end of the battle, but we'll see. I ran a couple of battles already with these guys where it hasn't lasted to the end. Because of continuous firing. Okay, so he's got ER. Medium laser. Is that it? I'm barely scratched. Yeah, well. We still haven't gotten to the main conflict yet, buddy. I wanted that copter gone this turn. Yeah, you run. You just run away. Okay, who's up? Waiting on you, Commander. Iceman. Not running cold as ice, but that's fine. Can we get a lot closer? We can. Got it. Just gonna walk it in. And let's hope to finish this guy off. Let's leave one of these guys off. This is a better chance to hit almost doing the same amount of damage, so we might as well go with this way. You betcha. Wow, are you serious? Dude! You're killing me here! He's gonna get us all killed. So I hope the copter sounds are a little lower now. Nice. You go indirect, buddy. I've, uh, apparently it's the ambient sound. If you lower the ambient sound, the copter sound drops as well. Which, for me, is a bit of a piss-off because I like the ambient sound. I just want to get rid of the copter sound. I couldn't find it in the files anywhere, so... Not much I can do about it. Well... Good. <laughs> he bailed out. Perfect. Hopefully we can get some parts of that. I'm considering running running a few copters again now. Now that I can get the sound a little lower and it's not so um, totally disturbing. Yeah, you run. He's got indirect though, I think. No? Well, oh, okay, fine. I hear ya. Okay, we're just gonna walk it. Right, Commander. Get our stability back. Commander. Walk it up here. I can't remember if I've just got standard. I got incendiaries as well. That's eight turns of firing up each. We'll drop incendiaries on this guy. Hopefully we can light the ground on fire and take a bit of damage when he moves. I don't know. So it looks like they've only got these three. Did we just kill him? No, no joy. Set the whole area on fire though, which is good. What's up, boss? Let's let him know what we think of him. Roger that. Alright, took a little bit of indirect damage. Looks like we penned the armor. Hopefully it's enough that when he moves, takes burn damage, he dies. Alright, we need to chase that guy down now. What can I do for you? Full speed it is. Pedal to the metal. So sprinting with this guy is not always the best option because I mean what are your the stealth systems don't work when you're sprinting, but well they work, but 
not anywhere near as good Roger, as if you're not. It. I think they're they're active by default too, so hopefully they're hard to hit. All right, let's hammer this guy. I got you. Well, hope there was nobody in that building. Waiting on you, Commander. Hope there was nobody in there. Can we get a shot? We cannot, but we'll go full speed. I want to get Going up here. Turbo. Although I should really think about my positioning. Like this, if this guy fires now, he might miss this guy and hit this guy. I gotta start th thinking about that Waiting more. But I'm hoping to have that vehicle done here. Took me a while to figure out how to load up this Shadowhawk, but I think we got a pretty good load up in this thing now, so... Um... Yeah, I think we just go this route. Thank you. It runs pretty darn cool, so... I'm not worried about firing everything in the, in the uh, desert. Okay, now this guy... Oh, he's out of the fire now. He might move through the fire still, we'll see. Oh. Guess we didn't get to the inside. Yeah, I just backed right into it. Perfect. Alright. Might be able to finish that up with the chaparral. Yes, Commander. Beautiful thing about this vehicle is because it's the arrow, I don't really have to go anywhere. I can just stay right where I am. Roger. That's gonna be a miss. Oh! Why did I even open my mouth? Reporting vehicle destroyed. Why, why do I open my mouth? All right, now I gotta figure out who's going in and who's staying out here. I have no idea if they're those turrets are for them. No need to tell me twice. Okay, get you up there. Get you in strike range. Um. I want to reposition you slightly. I think I want to move over behind the rocks over here. I think I want to get into here. Just like in here. Alright, let's move... Hollander's what? 35 tons? Roger that, Commander. Let's go there. The Clint. Are we already in with one? Clint can go here. Uh-huh. Alright, now we'll find out. Their fences are fully primed. What's going on? Looks like they're turrets. Alright. Okay, cool. Um, so it is turrets we're up against. What do we have here, though? Um, turrets are we looking at? Light laser turret. Light sniper turret. Probably an AC-2 or an Ultra-2. Sniper turret, probably... Uh, AC-2s and light LRMs, probably three LRM-10s, maybe? So, let's position to go. try and kill... I don't know, they're gonna be able to shoot no matter where we are, I think. I think we go after the LRM turret first. Let's get you into here. Position. You can stay behind there. Now we should all go before them. It's go time. Question is who's going first here? Paris going first. Alright, um... Let's limit their direct fire. Because, I mean, like, other than the LRM turret, they're all direct fire. So, we'll go with the LRM turret first, murder it. That's some pretty good damage. Leave the barrage off for now. Not bad. Should be able to kill it with uh, fire. Shadowhawk, I mean. So we're going to back you up to here. Moving out. And we're going to hammer this guy with everything. Take this. We do enough? Not quite enough. Okay. Another hit like that, and you're toast. Ready to rock. He will be toast. Okay, we can go here. Copy that, Commander. I'm just wondering now if we kill this turret, if that other guy will get a line of sight on us. Probably, but... See what happens. 
Nice. He might get a line of sight now. This might have been blocking him. Ready for orders. Okay, Draug. You're a little taller, I think, than the Clint, which is why that guy can see you. It's interesting. Wait. It's not too bad. Let's not shoot our own guy in the back, though. Puts that guy out of direct line of sight. Let's go standard. I should do it, yeah. The only reason why I'm going standard on this is I'm saving the incendiary for later. If we get some mechs later on, um, because they're clan mechs, mechs, they might overheat quicker. So I'm saving the um, saving the incendiaries for uh, potential of overheating of the enemy. Yeah, we'll do a little more damage on these turrets with the incendiaries, but it's not really uh, necessary on these guys. Whoops. Oh, it does get a shot at us, even though it said it couldn't see us. I guess I destroyed the building. So that would make sense. Yeah, and that guy could shoot past the turret now. Alright, fair enough. They don't have a lot, so... They don't have a lot. Let's just move forward, not into the building, because that'll cause instability if we get hit. I think that PPC turret is the one we want to take out first. Let's go up to, let's go up to this guy. I'm on him. Nice two hits. Excellent. Waiting on you, Commander. We can just push it right in now, I think. We'll just keep pushing in. And yep. Affirmative. What can I do for you? Iceman cometh. No sweat. We'll probably overheat a fair bit here. Flamer's not going to save us much. So this is 36 damage. Uh, you know what? I'm okay with taking the heat in this turn. That's All fine. Go. We've got a good chance to destroy everything at this point, so... When I shoot you, you'll take it. Uh. Standing by. Should be able to kill them both. Chaparral should be able to take this guy out, I think. This one should go down here. That. That's plenty. That turret is gone. It is. Commander. All right, hot diggity dog. 24%, eh? So the big difference between the standard round, which is like a, uh, basically a high explosive scatter area round, and the guided ammo. The guided ammo is nice if you can get a good chance to hit, because it'll do 100 points damage, but I don't think we're going to get a kill on this guy if we go this way. Let's take a shot at it with the guide and see if we can if we, see if we can land it. Aye, aye. If we if we miss, it won't do any splash damage. Yeah, no big deal. Cool. All right, let's just run by this guy and destroy him. Waiting on you, Commander. Full speed, we're heading up the hill. Pedal to the metal. I keep hearing the sensor lock sound. I keep thinking it's like a new target. Right. I know it's not, but looks like the turrets were hacked. One left turret. I hear you. Got it. Max speed. All no right. shooting. So I'm just gonna push up this hill. I'll see you at the top. All right. So we're just gonna move in now. We're gonna leave the chaparral back here, just kind of hidden. Um, it doesn't need to move. We'll just leave it there. It's an indirect fire. It does a pretty good job. So we're going to move the Shadowhawk first, because it's got the most armor. And hopefully we can activate this base and find out if it's a dropship or position. if they've got this base taken over here. Yep, it's a dropship. Okay. Welcome to the front lines. Yeah, we don't mind helping you guys out. Let's get these assholes off our world. And it's Irby's. Well, at least we get Urban, Mark, Urban Mech parts for our other lands. They got, what, five of them? Yeah. Uh, can we get... I guess it doesn't really matter. 
Let's just position ourselves so we're ready to go. Now, can I... Yeah, it doesn't... Alright, that's fine. We'll move up here. I, I thought in, in the past you were able to take a shot even if you were moving like this. Like when it when it's on the um, automatic move like that. I thought you were able to just fire if you didn't move. But I guess they took that away. Which, I mean, it makes sense. Alright, so what do we have for turrets here? This guy is LRM turret, which is good. Laser turret, two large lasers. Make sure we don't stand in front of that thing. Two medium lasers, and I think it's just the three, right? Yeah, they've only got three in this particular one. All right. Skipper. It's one of the very few that actually only has three. All right, I'm well, there. let's give it to them. So we got mostly R68s down here, I guess, eh? 68, 2C, unknown, 62. 68. 68's in the mortars, aren't they? Oh, MRM-30. That's not good. So what else do we have? The MRM-30, the Ultra-10. That's bad. So they, they got a pair of MRM-30s. Alright, so we're going to target this guy. Let's get started on this guy. Only because the mines are... Uh, it's a good place to... Actually, you know what? Let's just... Um, See if we can get a better spread. They got they got to move up, but they move slowly. So let's get it just in front of them if we can. Go with the mine dispensers. Here we go. Now it's not going to do a lot of damage to their legs. It's only three tens. But if it's in a good spot, short range missiles are out. That's a pretty good layout. Oh, mama can hit harder I could I could have probably put it a little closer to us. That's a back shot. Kind of a cheat shot. They shouldn't be dropped that way. We could go after the Ultra 10. It's not a very good shot, though. Ah, uh, yeah, let's go after the Ultra 10. Let's just see how much heat this brings up. We can leave one of the, yeah, we'll leave one of the heavies off. Fire the rest. That way we can uh, go all out in the next turn. Okay, that's nice. Looks like they're finally starting to warm up a bit. Yeah, critical hit. Yeah. I hear you. All right, we still got another side shot here. It's not side shot here, is it? No. Going to go after the side shot. We're only going to walk it up though. Uh -huh. I think we'll drop the barrage down there as well. See if we can actually land it. I mean, the, tab, the, the, the barrage doesn't do too much, but it does provide a fair bit of heat damage, so... Time to die. It can be worth it. For one ton, I mean, if you got a spare ton and a, and a free, uh, uh, a free uh, support slot, just go for it. I mean, I think, a, I think a regular tag, for the most part, is probably better. But if you've got an extra one, just, just drop it in there. Alright, hammer the same guy. Not a lot. Huh. Those guys are all inspired by the MRM-30 shot. Alright, now we got to go guided because we can, we'll destroy the mines down here. So that's 30-something. That's the. I guess it's all going to be the same, even though these guys got spawn immunity, didn't they? It's all going to be 39. Yep. All right, let's make sure we're getting the right guy here. So, you're the MRM. You're the MRM. Let's try for the kill on the Ultra. We might as well. Taking the shot. Come on, land it. Yes. It's an arm hit, though. On that one. I don't think we took his whole side, just the arm. Yeah. Evasive. How the fuck is an urban mech evasive? Okay, at least we did some damage to the leg. I don't know how much we're doing here. Find out in a second on that guy. 
Uh, that's the mortar version. I did manage to pick up a couple of mortar eights, so the next time we got the herbies running, there uh, we got some more. I gotta find some more fast scan mortar ammo though. That's the one thing we do have to find. Okay, whole lot of nothing. I think we got lucky with this lance here. Oh, maybe not. There goes a the building. Yep. So they were only just a little bit faster. The speed's what's going to lose in this this uh, match. They could. I mean, you, you could do it. With, with with this firepower, if you had just a little more speed, you could, I think, easily take down these buildings before I could take them down, but... On if you, that's all they were interested in doing. Alright, now, let's get you... Out. ...on the damaged Irby with the Ultra. What side am I hitting, though? The damaged side, it looks like. Tell me where to shoot. Oof, that's terrible. Oh, I'm not. I'm hitting the other side. Okay. What are your orders, Skipper? He's positioned himself pretty darn well. I got you. I say we keep on him, though. Hmm. Let's go after the MRM guy here. Okay, that was. It looks like a CT hit and an arm hit. Waiting for orders. All right, let's give it to this guy in the face. I know I shouldn't be getting in, the, in between this, the large lasers and uh, and stuff, but I think we're okay. How much heat did you get? A little bit. I mean, we could go incendiary. Well, are we going to get a kill on this guy if we don't? Let's just go incendiary. Screw it. We'll heat him up a little bit if we can. Confirm. Get the tandems on him as well. I'm out of SRN. What can I do for you? All right, Iceman cometh. Enjoy, buddy. Roger that. Firing on target. Oof. Man, we're not taking anybody down. Oh, uh, you got the line in the building. See what I mean, though? The pair of L the pair of MRMs and the and the Ultra Orders. can do a hell of a lot of damage if we're not careful here. 46%. 33. 39. Let's go with the highest chance to hit. Here it comes. Ah, crap. No biggie. The Chaparral's been hitting fair bit this this match, so I don't mind if he misses a couple shots like that. What it is is he's it's, it's just too easy for him to hit now. He's got to get the uh, chance to hit down about you know 16, 20 percent, then he'll start hitting again. God, they're doing so much damage. So he's overheating. So somebody's taking the Kalayama shot next turn. R59, okay. The mortar. Minimal damage on that hit. Gonna move next turn, I think. Yeah, I really think the uh, ECM and the uh, stealth on this guy is like really helping him not get hit. Ooh, nice two shots. Ah, well, there goes the weapon. Yes, well, at least he bailed. Ooh, that guy took some damage. Did he lose his leg? Left torso destroyed, okay. Waiting on you, Commander. So we did get a bit out of that. On my way. Alright, let's get on the guy's damage then. The LBX. Ooh, that was interesting. Panic level critical. I'll give you something to be critical about. No sweat.
How's that? Yeah. See ya. Okay. I'm there. I don't know how hot this uh, MRM boy is, but I think this other guy. Oh, it's the 60. They don't have a shot in the 62. He's the guy with the PPCs right here. Ballistic and energy, isn't he? I'm pretty sure it's the 62 that's got the. Uh, the 59 is the. Uh, is the mortar version. Let's go on this guy. Okay, jack his heat up a little bit. I want you to move, though. I don't want you to stand still. So let's just stay up here. Actually, can you walk there? You can. We'll do that instead. Do that instead. Why run when you can walk? Hammer this guy. Special delivery. All right, there goes the MRM. I don't really have a mech currently Another for this like playthrough. Like in the um, static defense unit, there's really no use for the MRM-30 because it's totally a direct fire weapon. And the Irby lances, which has got now has got nine or eight Irbys, by. can't use it because it's. I'm trying to gear it as more indirect than anything. Because I want to use it um, to take on higher uh, difficulty enemies. So and we and we obviously, if we could take on a higher difficulty enemies, you can't go uh, you can't go uh, direct fire. Not in a thirty ton back, you can't. Wow, that was terrible. Uh, add a little heat to this guy. Nice. He'll still fire, but at least he'll be hot. Yeah. They got no choice but to fire. What's up, boss? All right, buddy. Um, 39, 39, 52. Let's see if we can get a kill. Is this guy shut down or oh, he he fell over. That's right. Engaging. Well, that would have transferred to the internal to the CT. That was a hundred damage though. We gotta get that mortar carrier. Okay, at least you're not shooting me in the back. Nice, two laser hits. How often do we get good, like, turrets that actually do, like, other than high level turrets? We rarely ever get turrets that do a lot of damage. So this guy's the mortar guy. Let's see if we can burrow through this side and hopefully save that mortar. It'd be nice to get a backup one. Time to die. Okay, that was a leg hit. The X pulse. Yeah, critical hit. What can I do for you? Same thing. We'll dial back. Um, it's not going to be enough. All right, we'll go this route. It's fine. It's plenty. Uh -huh. There's the left leg, left torso. What the more? He bailed. Perfect. Skipper. Okay, Monsieur Lemon. We got one guy left. Can we get to a position? Good shot, right there. Copy that, Commander. Now he fired. He should be nice and toasty. Let's make him even more toasty. Uh, it's only 18 heat, but still, it's pretty good. Let's see what you got. Oof, there's the kill. Did we take his head off? Oh, we got his core. We cored him. Alright, that's fine. There it is, folks. Mission successful. Alright, so that worked. That turned out pretty good. And I think I've got five salvage out of this one. Pretty sure I do. So we've got two parts. I got the problem is I need five parts to put to put together a mech. I guess I could just take all the urban mech, a bunch of urban mech parts, and we can put we can put our urban mech together. So LRM fifteen clan. So there's the mortar eight. Got three of them. So I guess I don't need that. I think we kill the mortar vehicle. I think that's what happened. So we have a bunch of them now. So we could take the R fifty nine parts, which is the we got two of them now. 
We could take two of these. Don't have any of these guys though. So I think we're just short on Irby parts currently. So the 68 was the MRM version. So if we take the two 59s, that gives us the option eventually to put together a 59 when we have enough parts. And if I take three 68s, we can put together the MRM one, which wouldn't be an MRM, it would be another missile launcher, like an indirect. It's only one missile though, and one laser. That's the problem though, right? Like I like the uh, ones with either like multiple ballistic or multiple um, missile racks on them. So maybe we shy away. We'll probably get a couple parts anyway. So the lightning was the one with half decent armor, two medium pulses, a tag, and streak twos. So what did he hit us with then? I guess the streak twos when we was doing 10 damage? Must have been the streaks. I wonder why it was 10 damage though. Oh, because it's inner sphere streaks, that's probably why. They do a little more, I think, than the, than the clan streaks do. So this has the LRM-15. It's actually not bad frontal armor. And the Assure is only 20 tons. Mm. That's probably a good bet. Mortar 8. And let's check to see if they've got... Well, Clan, Guardian, ECM, I don't think we have any, no. It's always nice to have Guardians on everything. Now, do you have Fast Cam? You've got Acid, which we don't have any of. Airburst, I think we've got a lot. Guided, we have some, I think. No, we don't have any. Acid is probably better, though. Target takes 0.5% more damage for two turns. And it does stack. Yeah, it's still pretty darn low, the extra damage, right, with the acid. But it does a lot more damage to armor. Which means it's, like, if, you, if you're using the mortars, use the acid ammo first to open them up and then switch it to, like, I don't know what the crits are on the air burst, but I always feel like it, it does more because it's hitting more locations. But then you just switch it to something else, right? right after you strip the armor. So I'm going to grab the acid ammo. It's always a good bet. And MRMs we can't really use. Alright, we'll go this route. Alright, so we did get an R62 and an R68 part, which means we'll be able to put together an urban mech. We can put together an R59 if we want, but I'll hold on to it for now. What else do we get? Clan armor. I'll hold on to it. Clan Pharaoh will most likely use regular heat sinks. I think we've got a ton of these, so we can just sell these off. Yeah, basic sensors can go. AC2 ammo can go. LRM double. I don't think we're ever going to need that. Acid, we've got the guided ammo. Okay, perfect. All right, so a little bit of, little bit of repairs, but not much. Mostly on the chaparral, I think. Um, the, oh, it's the adder. Adder, Clint, Hollander. Yeah, we took a little splash, but not much. Okay, so that's that. Now, I wanted to just show you one thing. Um, so for, um, so the first um, battle report series is kind of coming to an end. We're got kind of in the last fight right now, um, although I haven't posted the last couple turns yet. Um, we are kind of in the last fight. So we're going to be working on creating a new campaign. This first campaign was just a test. Um, the rules are, are really getting fleshed out, which is nice. But if I go into the settings here real quick, so they've changed a few things. Uh, in the difficulty settings, they've added a whole bunch of stuff up here. So, like starting money, no big deal because you're selecting that right at the very beginning, no problem, right? Um, but the shop selling prices, um, the uh, exponents for mech warrior progression, um, the Royer Ronin higher chance, um, they've added that to the top here, which is a little bit frustrating. Um, but it's not a big deal uh, because the uh, return values, the uh, C-bill return values, um, unfortunately I'm locked to 18% now. I don't want to be um, because in the campaigns in the future, your shop selling prices and um, your scrap return values, your rec mech recovery chance, which is fine because it's here, and your contract payment and salvage 
um, all, all vary bit depending on your situation, right? So um, in the future, I don't know why this is at 70%. It should be back down to, uh, oh no, it's, uh, it should be 70. Is it 70? Yeah, it's 70. Um, so in the future, uh, when we're doing the campaigns, we have to take this into, into I got to take this into mind uh, when we were actually generating our units to start. But um, but for those people who don't know about the Battle, Battle Report series, it's the Battle Report last. It's on my uh, YouTube channel. You can check it out. Um, so the idea is that we're getting a group of players together um, playing different versions of Rogue Tech. Or it doesn't have to be Rogue Tech. It can be any, any Battle Tech. Um, or we basically set up do a role-playing campaign um, as a group of units that are um, fighting common enemies. Uh, at some point in time, I'm going to try and work it in where we can actually um, be on oppo opposing sides. I'm not exactly sure how that would work. It's just going to cause a bit of issue, I think, to do that. But uh, currently, all units are fighting on the same side. But you can check out the Battle Report Lasso series if you haven't seen it and kind of get the gist of, of what we're doing. Um, I'm also going to be making the rules public shortly I got to go through them a few more times just to make sure that uh, things are set up. But it's a pretty simple. Um, it's pretty simple to to, uh, to join in and join along. And if you don't like it and you want to drop out, that's fine too. Like, or if you want to join, you know, partway through once you see how it's going, you can do that too. Um, it's pretty open, um, and it's like the the scenarios that you can. I'm setting it up so you can kind of play as much as you want. So if you're interested in doing it, like playing more matches during the week. Um, then just one or two, you can do that. And if you want to play uh, like once a week or once a month even, you're more than welcome to do that too. Uh, we can get you into the campaign, no problem. But um, yeah, so I'm just still working on those rules. But anyway, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.